What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay guys, so here we are in Violet City, and we struggled just a little bit, but hey, you know what, this is part of the game right here, and uh, I'm starting to understand why I steered away from hack games and all that crud. And uh, yeah, off screen, I actually captured myself a Ghastly. Believe it or not, it wasn't that route that I wanted to go capture a Reeve. And uh, yeah, I did train him up just a little bit right here. I realized something right here, guys. In this game, you're going to have to do whatever it, it takes to win. So that is what I'm doing right here. It's not the main game or anything like that. Don't know anything about this game, so it is what it is. However I win, it is what it is. So now in our next episode right here, we're going to be going straight to the next city right here. Camp Cherry Grove. Yeah, Cherry Grove Town. And uh, yeah, we're going to battle some more trainers here and there. Last episode, we actually got ourselves a uh, Pokemon egg. And uh, what else? Oh yes, we won our very first gym battle, which is always good too. And now it is time to go straight right here. Now if you talk to this guy, let's see what is he. Yeah, you must be a uh, training to Violet City, the gym uh, especially helper. Okay, and uh, yes, this guy will actually give you a miracle seed, which is actually very, very good. Always helpful. For grass type Pokemon, and something that I discovered along the way is that you can actually find some more interesting Pokemon in this route than in the original versions, which to me that's awesome because I have an eye I have my eye on uh, quite a few Pokemon right there. So let's see what this guy has to say. He thinks we're tough. Very tough or something like that. I don't even know. So here we go. Battling up against uh, some dude right here with a level 13 Rattata. And uh, I did teach Stampy, uh, what was it, Mud Slap off screen, so hopefully that will actually give us a little bit more of an advantage right there, since Stampy's not really that great of a Pokemon to begin with, and uh, that quick attack has missed, so Stampy, use that move that powered it is powered up, and look at that, critical hit, that is great. Alrighty, and he's going to be coming out with a Nidoran female, so... You know what, let's go ahead and stick with our good old buddy Stampy right here, because I do have the ground type move now. And uh, here we go, Mud Slap for the win. That is super effective. And a lot of these Pokemon are jacked up by all, like they, they're really souped up in their levels, so this is a pretty, it's starting to become a pretty fun game right here. And, uh, well, look at that, accuracy has fallen. The scratch attack right there. So here we go again with another Mud Slap. There we go, for the win. There we go. And that is how you do it right there. All right, Richard has been defeated. Yes, I am strong. So Stampy finally has a fighting chance right here. And uh, let's see, pretty sure there's another Pokemon trainer right here. No, there's no trainer right here, except for that guy. And uh, I finished my phone calls so I can battle now. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, so he he does have a, a fly, flying type Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go with a tackle attack. See if that actually works. No, there's that Leer. Okay, I wonder if the next gym leader is gonna be as tough as a as a Faulkner right here. I wonder. I don't know. My opinion about this whole game right now is that it's very surprising how all these trainers' levels are. A little bit higher than usual. I was expecting all these levels to be the same, but the creators of this game actually did a good job with that, making this whole thing challenging. And uh, yeah, defeated you. Okay, so Stampy's doing a great job. Let's go right ahead and go straight to Irwin. It's a level 17 about to evolve right here, and uh, there is no item right there. Okay, so I was expecting an item. And uh, here you can actually find Ekans, which I don't need which I will catch outside outside of this whole thing right here. And I think I already have a plethora of ghost type Pokemon too. So that is it, and uh, oh crud, this guy looks like he's a grass type trainer. Not because of the grass, but just because he looks like it. So let's go to Toxic Batman. Don't want to mess with him right now. Let's grab this, and here we found ourselves a nest ball. It's pretty uh, impressive right there. Let's see what he has to say. That glance, it's intriguing. <laughs> wow, it's not like we haven't heard that before. Alright, here we go. Camper Paul, and he's coming out with his Nidoran male. Kind of want to capture one of those guys. And, uh, well, let's go with the bite attack. Now that it knows bite. Toxic Batman USOB. Alright. 
Let's go again. Another peck attack. Here we go again. Another bite. And there you go. Okay, there we go. And uh, Paul has been defeated right there. You've been defeated. Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, God. So let's see. These guys... M yeah, they're water type Pokemon. So there is a Pokemon here that I I've had my interest in. Uh, kind of want to capture him right now. Hopefully I can find him. Kind of give you a memory of Leaf Green or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully I can bet I can find him. Well, here's one Pokemon that you can actually find in it, and that's Pineco. That right there is amazing. And uh, wow. Holy crud! Holy crud! Okay, so it protected itself. You know what? I don't need to battle you right now. I don't need to waste any time. Let's see. Uh, screw it. Let's just try and find it, and hopefully. And let, let's just hope for the best. Really hope for the best right here. And that's not the Pokemon I want to capture. It's another one. Another one. Uh, no thanks to TJ, DJ Khaled right there. Okay, so I'm going to use the speed button, and hopefully I can find this guy right here. So let's see. Nope, not the guy. There we go again. Nope, not the guy. And it's not even nighttime. Nope, not the guy. Hopefully this doesn't damage the, the whole voice recording or anything like that. Not the guy. And not that guy. And not that guy. Damn, I'm trying my heart. There you are. This is the guy. So... You can actually find yourself and execute in this route right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and capture this this SOB. And hopefully I don't make it a faint. So here we go with the leech life. Come on. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no. It stayed. Okay. Alrighty. And that will not work. So let's go right ahead and use a Pokeball right here. So let's go <laughs> capture this Pokemon. Again, guys, my team is not complete. I don't know when it will be complete, crud. And there is that hypnosis attack. It does nothing to me right now. I got plenty of uh, I got plenty of awakenings right here, so let's go right ahead and uh, use that Pokeball again. Come on, stay in the ball. God dang it! Yeah, it's not gonna be captured that quickly. And look at that, it's using uproar. This is a this is a well. Okay, so I didn't know Uproar can wake you up, so I'm going to use that Nest Ball right here. Come on. Stay in the god dang ball. One, two, three, yes sir. So there you have it, guys. Another Pokemon for the team, and uh, we already know what we, we're going to be calling this Pokemon right here. Execumon. Even though it appears to be eggs of uh, some sort, it was discovered to be life form more like plant seeds. Okay, that's cool. So we're going to be naming this guy the same name that we named him in uh, Leaf Green, so Execumon. De exec, or actually, Exec. You, oh wait, 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 can't even spell it right. You, Mon. So there you go, there you guys have another Execumon on our team. And, uh, well, let's see, let's go ahead and heal this Pokemon first. So, let's see, we have a full team so far, and uh, let's see, what else? Actually, use another one right here. You're healed, and yes, we have a Ghastly named Smoke, after the Mortal Kombat char character, and uh, let's give that to Execumon right there, and uh, well, let's go ahead and try it our, uh, actually, first, let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon. So, it is both a Grass and Psychic type Pokemon. And it's Glorfilla, of course, speeds it up, and it does have a few moves. Not Grass-type Pokemon yet, or not Grass-type yet. So we're going to be switching it out right here because we're going to be battling a few Water-type Pokemon trainers right here. So let's see. My Pokemon, freshly cut. Freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. You know, the wrestler. And here he comes out with a Poliwag. Okay. So the type advantage goes to me. Don't know how this is gonna fare, and of course it does have a uh, hypnosis. So here we go, uproar, and uh, yes, I caused an uproar, and it's making an uproar, and that bubble attack is not gonna do you good, man. Okay, so there we go. So let's go ahead, another uproar. Is it getting stronger? Will it get stronger? No, it. Well, it can't put the. Yeah. Yes, you can't go to sleep on an uproar. I just realized that. Alrighty. Can't make, can't go to sleep on an uproar. Here we go. 
Come on. Oh crap. And, uh, well, it looks like Uproar is going to be our, our move of choice right here. So, let's go again, another Uproar. And that one was a critical hit right there. Still learning, uh, still waiting for that, uh, that grass type move, and crap. Okay, speed button. Here we go. Again, I'm not going to beat this game on a, on a conventional or, you know, on a, on a regular basis. Well, on the regular way, guys, I'm actually going to beat this game using everything I have just to speed it up. And there you go. And it wins. Look at that. Grows to level 8. And uh, about to use another Poliwag. So let's go straight to Smoke right here. All right. Smoke. That's why it's in capital letters right there. And, uh, well, let's go with the Nightshade. Yeah, buddy. Feel that Nightshade. Okay, and of course, we're gonna be falling asleep right here, crud. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's go with uh, Awakenings because we got a lot of Awakenings right here. And uh, there's that Bubble attack. For the Bubble. Chris Jericho. You gotta love Chris Jericho for that guy. Man's a genius. So here we go. Nightshade attack for that win. And crud. Alright, speed button. Here we go, water gun, same process, nightshade, and there we go! And you have been defeated. That's right, always hated that guy. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. Now, uh, some of you guys who are coming in, you guys are wondering, why am I playing uh, Liquid Crystal now all of a sudden? Well, you guys already know, uh, COVID-19, uh, coronavirus, yeah, that kind of stuff. It, it put a pause to the whole world, including myself, and so I got a lot of time on my hands, especially now that, you know, uh, we have been on a, what, on a lockdown for quite some time. Well, not for a quite some time, for like maybe a, almost a week or so. And uh, my deal is that if I'm going to be paused for a little bit and I can do a little bit of, of the stuff on the side. Oh, damn, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, damn. Uh, the barrage... Okay, well, like I was saying, if I could do some of my my usual stuff on the side, then why not come out with Pokemon a uh, Pokemon hack game that you guys have been asking for? Now, I've always had my eye on Pokemon Liquid Crystal mainly because it's a uh, you know the Johto game, the the unused Johto game that we've never even played in Generation Three. Now I'm starting to figure that. Well, I'm starting to figure this out that it, it's. It's a, well, a hack game, of course. It's gonna be, well, it's gonna be what you call it. What it is, I don't know. I don't even know how to say it, guys. I'm right now. I'm at a loss for words right now for all these things right here. But if I could do it and I can showcase it within a matter of time, that I'm not being, uh, you know, I'm not being active out there on my job, then you know what? Might as well. And uh, God dang it, man! I freaking hate these guys with their move, smoke, smoke screen right here. And there we go. Aaron grows to level 18. There we go. Speed button. You gotta love the speed button, guys. And there you go. Erwin grows to uh, level 18, and he's finally evolving. But like what I was trying to say, guys, um, this whole COVID-19 thing, it has put a pause on everything, okay? And uh, so far, I've been doing nothing but walkthroughs, coming out with it, especially Pokemon Black. And, uh, well, whatever I come out with Pokemon uh, Liquid Crystal right here, I come out with. It's not going to be a usual thing. I'm just going to be doing it on the side. Uh, not if you guys know what I mean. Uh, and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with all this stuff right here. But eventually, you know, we will finish it all. I'm going to do my research and, uh, you know, whatever. So, let's go ahead and use the speed button on this guy. I think it's a good idea just to do speed buttons on, uh... <laughs> Ah, oh, crud. Uh, speed button on uh, on the Pokemon battle right here because it's taking way too long just to beat this whole thing. And uh, let's go with the water gun. Scratch attack. There we go. Exactimon grows to level 9. Coming out with uh, that guy. So let's go with Toxic Batman right here. And uh, let's go with Bat it. Bite attack. Bite attack again. Bite attack. Super Potion. These guys have healing items. To my surprise. And here he comes out with a Star U. So. I'm gonna go with this guy right here, and uh, let's go with Nightshade. Should be super effective since it is a psychic type, right? Somewhat of a psychic type. There we go. Crabby. Wow. 
Let's go with Stampy. And Defense Girl. Let's go with that. There we go. Losing your losing your eyesight right there. Okay. So I think I think right here I'm gonna be using the speed button because holy crud man, this is all these Pokemon trainers are like they're freaking uh they're they're fucking difficult. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be healing up my Pokemon. Well, like I was saying too, this like the this walkthrough right here is not gonna be like the usual walkthroughs where I am nice and steady, nice and calm, uh, very very descriptive and all that crud. It's gonna be very very different. I'm gonna be using that speed button because, again, I want to get as much out there for you guys onto this game. That way, you guys can be a little bit more entertained and all that crud. And uh, let's see, Yahoo! It's dark. I'm Frida of Darkness. Nice to meet you. Here's a poison bar for you. Okay. So I guess, I guess the day, okay, so it doesn't matter what day it is, all these day people, the one that gives you items, they're, yeah, they're not going to be on on the game on their specific times and, and days and all that stuff. So let's see, let's move on, I think there was one more trainer here that we haven't battled. No, we battled him. Okay, so let's see, Pokemon, alright, I'm going to capture you. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Toxic Batman. Switch. Astonish. Astonish. Oh, well. There you have it. You, you're gonna... You're gonna need luck to capture that guy. So, don't really want him. And, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's battle. Alright, so let's see what you got to say. I found some good Pokemon in the grass! I think they'll do for me. Battle! Alright, here we go. Barrage. Yeah, that barrage attack is not going to work. So let's go straight to Irwin. And uh, water gun attack, of course. And here we go. Come on. See, they like to use uh, these accuracy moves. It's really annoying. It really is. Okay, so that's that. And this guy might be the Slowpoke Tail guy. Yes. The Slowpoke Tail offering it for a million dollars. Nope, don't want it. Whatever. Okay. And, uh, let's see, there is one more trainer right here that we can battle. And, uh, let's see, well, let's switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Stampy right here. And, let's go. Let's see what you got to say. That's a badge from the Violet City Gym! You beat Faulkner! Yes, I did. Let's go. Okay, so let's go with the Tackle. Tackle again. Tackle again. There we go. Pidgey. Let's continue going on with the same thing right here. There we go. Uh, okay, here we go. Damn it. Okay. Uh, okay, smoke. Let's go with smoke. Um, crud. Forgot. Actually, you know what? There we go. That's how you beat it. <laughs> Alright, let's go with Irwin and uh, let's go water gun attack for the winds. There we go, and that's how you do it. Alrighty. God damn, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that you have to, you have to take in. And here we have an, a max revive, a max revive before the second badge. Holy sh! Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna stay right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. Ooh.